Welcome to the podcast, Claim Your Excellent Life, with your host, Suzanne Kellner Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne will teach you how to do this through building high self esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques, self esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness, as well as other useful free gifts for you. In this episode of Claim Your Excellent Life, we are going to speak about allowing your young adult to create the life of their choice so long as it is productive and healthy. I can't tell you how many times when I've worked with teenagers and college-age kids and even some older people who had parents who really thought their children were supposed to live the life that they wanted them to live or to repeat the life that the parent already had. Even sometimes when their child did not have the capacity to do so, such as one of my Asperger's clients, whose mom was really brilliant and could not understand or deal with her kids' issues, so far as I'm concerned. It was really heartbreaking, quite frankly. This is the deal. You know if you have more than one child, that they pop out of your body with their own personalities. Along with those personalities, they have their own strengths and deficits. They have their own interest in things that they're not interested in. And if you're lucky, you have a kid who grows into a person who has an idea of what they want to do when they grow up. So years ago, I had a client who came to see me who wanted to be a fiction writer, and her parents wouldn't let her go to college to do that. They wanted her to become a lawyer. She had no interest in law, didn't care about the law, flunked the bar, every single section. When she tried to pass the bar, it took her a couple times to pass the bar, and she absolutely hated practicing law. And when she was in her 30s, she just wanted to be a fiction writer. I hooked her up with a coach to help her do that. Then you have other people who have parents who think that their kids have the same intelligence or capacities that they do, and maybe these kids do not. But the worst situation is the ones where I see parents just totally incapable of respecting their own child's choices in life. And this is devastating to the child because You know, if you have a kid who's gifted at the arts, let them study the arts. My ex, he paid his way through school. And he has a great job at Harvard University doing archival photography. And he still is able to do his fine art work on the side. If your kid wants to be a musician, let him do it. Not everybody wants to do things as careers that everybody else is doing in this life. And a lot of people who go into these so-called high-income professions, once they're there, they don't enjoy it. You have 400 doctors committing suicide every year because of the stress that they're under here in America. Many lawyers that I know aren't making any money. And those who are in big partnerships have so much stress on them to bring in business. It's not fun. My own brother-in-law is a public defender, one of my brother-in-laws. It's a fascinating job, but he has so many clients, he can't keep up with it all. Who's to say what another being should be doing in this life? Let your kids be who they are. Give them a lot of different things to try out through life so they have interest 
and they can find themselves and figure out what will work for them. Because in the end, it's their life that they are living, not yours. You have your life. You have your life. And you can change your life to be what you want it to be. And respect your own child's right to be who they are and do what they want to do with their life. Again, as long as it's productive and isn't hurting anybody. Let them investigate. Let them learn. Let them have the opportunity to see what they can do. And if it doesn't work out, well, I have news for you. Most people are changing careers like seven times because of technology, taking away previous jobs. We don't have that many secretaries anymore, right? I know my other brother-in-law, one of my other brother-in-laws, he works in alarm and security systems, and he loves that work. But he spends more time doing all the administrative crap because there's no secretary to do it for him anymore. And that's the deal. You wanted this child, maybe you didn't want this child, but you had the child, you raised the child. Allow the child to bloom into the person they're gonna be and support them along the way as best you can. And I'm not saying paying for everything. I'm just saying, let them know that you're proud of them for doing the stuff they're doing, that you're interested in what they're doing, that you love to learn from them, because we can learn a whole lot if we want to. Actually, listen to what our kids are telling us, teaching us, showing us. And watch them evolve into the great human beings they are. As always, I thank you for spending your time with me. Till next time. If you have enjoyed Claim Your Excellent Life, we'd really appreciate it if you go over to iTunes and give it a five-star review. If you have found Claim Your Excellent Life to be helpful to you, and maybe even life-altering with the information that we have shared here. And to allow us to continue this work, which we really do enjoy doing for you, you can sponsor us at patreon.com. That's spelled P as in Paul, A-T-R-E-O-N as in Nancy, dot com. Again, that's P as in Paul, A-T as in Tom, R-E-O-N as in Nancy, dot com where there's a few different levels of sponsorship that you can choose from to help us to continue doing this work. We thank you for any assistance that you are able to give us. Thank you for listening to the podcast, Claim Your Excellent Life, with your host, Suzanne kellner Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy, Suzanne teaches you how to do this through building high self-esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques, self-esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness, as well as other useful free gifts for you.